It's funny because I'm sure abolitionists in the 19th century struggled with the same thing uh, at dinner parties. You know, they'd be talking <laughs> about something and then casually bring up, oh, yeah, slavery. So, yeah, that shouldn't be a thing anymore. And, yeah. you know, it's hard not to talk about that kind of stuff when you see it. It's a thinking that's been around for a very long time. And even if you mm -hmm. take away the White House, even if you take away congressional buildings, you could take all that shit away. You could kill everyone. Mm -hmm. As long as that type of thinking is still around, you know, you're going to have these governments. If you took us back 100 years and you said, OK, no more slavery, it's a little bit more than 100 years. But you said, OK, no more slavery. It's like, oh, yeah, well, show me society that works without slavery. It's, I firmly believe I firmly believe that uh, government is the number one enemy of freedom. You know, you, you say you're going to save your country and defend freedoms but you know who who are you fighting i think you're fighting the wrong person if you're not out there um trying to open people's eyes and say hey you know it's 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 the state that's the enemy here